it is time to have fun. How do we have fun? <laughs> well, we play as one of the best characters in the game that also coincidentally happens to be the one the game is named after. You already know the vibe, man. I don't I don't have to come up with a clever intro every single time. That's not why eh, maybe it is why people watch these. I don't <laughs> I don't know. I'm just playing Isaac today. That's the that's the plan. That's that's the whole bit to it. I just want to play Isaac. I just want to have a good time. I just want to see what happens. What the game wants to bestow upon me, what kind of goodies I can gleam, and so on and so forth. I don't even know if that's how you use the word gleam. Let's launch into that straight away again, shall we? Just talking about random words that go through my head. That's, well, is that just what forming random conversation is to begin with? You, you just have words in your head and then they come out, sometimes without even really thinking. At least I do that a lot of the time where... Either my mouth runs faster than my brain, or my brain runs faster than my mouth. Usually it's the latter. Where there's a lot going on up there, or at least I, I think there is, but then also not enough. By the way, I, I don't know if I want to re-roll this. Quince is kind of good. Mm, yeah, I'll take it. If we're taking conjoined pieces, this is one of the better ones to have. I'm okay with that. And if I'm only gonna get one charge this floor, I'd rather use it on the boss, I think. Oh, speaking of... No, uh, okay. You didn't steal my charge, that's all that matters. Let's go. Anyway, I hope you're having a good day. I, I've been having an interesting day. I happen to have a little bit of free time today, and I saw my friends hanging out in a voice chat, as you do, right? And they were watching, I shit you not, they were watching Drive 2011, featuring, or starring, much rather, Ryan Gosling. And it, it's quite the experience, I get this every time um, I watch a movie, that is notorious and has like a ton of memes about it and stuff. And it was no different with this movie. Seeing all the scenes that, you know, you normally know from the memes is always, always a trip, man. When he says the Latin, I drive, when he, uh, yeah, when you see like the, the scenes that are turned into GIFs where like people are talking to him and he's just kind of like standing there blankly staring at them. It, it's very funny. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very very funny. Let's open this first, uh, just in case there's anything in here, you never know. But it, it is always, like, I, I cannot take a movie seriously if I've seen more memes, or if I've seen, like, 90% of the movie through memes, when I actually watch it. Like, they start playing the fucking intro song, you know? There's something inside you, blah blah blah, that song, and then also they play the real, real human being song, and I'm just like, oh man. I can't take this serious, because there's been so many memes and edits of people being like, Oh my god, he's literally me. <clears throat> I, can't, I can't take it seriously, man. It was actually an okay movie. It was it was decent, but, you know. <laughs> Those parts, uh... I wouldn't necessarily say have ruined the experience for me, but they certainly made it a little bit more, uh, well, different. I don't think it's uh, how I would have uh, planned to experience the movie. I want those jumper cables, and I will get them. Okay, um, I'm expected to get that IV back straight away, that's for sure. I get to use my charge, so let's do it. It's blub. Well, I love enemies, or much rather bosses that spawn adds, because when they spawn adds, I get quince, and quince means extra damage output. A boiled baby's gonna go huge, brother. Oh, you fucked up, you should never jump me, man. Ah, do I wanna check the devil deal? Nah, I'll roll this. And I don't think I want that either. I think I'll leave that around for now. I don't know, man. No, not a fan of the items I've been experiencing so far, but I haven't even seen my item room yet, so... Then again, I also have no options, really. I don't have another charge. I don't even have the money for uh, said uh, jumper cables that I would want as well. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, That's a tough choice. So I'm not getting any more charges. I'm not getting any more money, realistically, because I don't have bombs. Fuck it. Let's re-roll in here a little bit. Polydactyly is great, but, you know, don't really care about bag of crafting, don't care for iron bar. Daddy long legs is fine. Oh, yeah, let's go! It's been so long since I've seen you, Tractor Beam, my beloved. One of my favorite items in the game. It has been so long, and here we are, reunited at last. Too bad. I have to miss out on you. I would love you, I would love to have you. Oh, well, I guess I'll grab this for HP, so I live and uh, we move on. No, but it was it was quite something when <laughs> me and the boys were watching Drive, and then he says the line where he says, I drive, and then everybody started losing it. Like, oh my god, he said the line! No way! Ooh, old capacitor, huh? Ah, tempting. I mean, I have a full charge right now anyway, so I might as well hold it, right? But maybe it means I can be a bit more aggressive with my charges? 
Well, I kind of gotta be, except I'll take this. Uh, Keeper skin is fine. Let's fight the boss right now. Min Min, I got bad news for you, buddy. I am very powerful right now. I am able to take down foreign governments by just existing. I pledge no allegiance to any nation individually. I will take this for the luck upgrade. <laughs> it's the only reason. Is it, isn't it fucked up Dad's Lost Coin is actually not that bad? Like, it's a range plus luck up. The range is whatever, but the luck is actually kind of useful, man. Alright, well, I hope that I can make good use of charges here. I mean, I can... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Old Capacitor or whatever. That one probably wasn't even Old Capacitor. That was just working out traditionally. Take me to this item room. I want to reroll this damn knife piece. ASAP. This shit belongs into a museum, aka rerolled. Yo, dude! Let's go! I was thinking like, wait, does this work? It totally works with- it totally works with Tractor Beam. Let's go, bro. Huge news! I am a huge fan of this. I am spoiled for choice with charges here on this floor. God damn. I don't know if this is all just old capacitors doing, but I feel like it might just be old capacitor working out. Holy crap, man. I am getting charges like, out the ass right now. Ah, oh, I like Blood Clot. I like Blood Clot! Mm, roll me. Mm, I do need speed, actually. I hate to do it. I hate to reroll Blood Clot like that, but I do need speed. It is very important to me right now. I had very low speed. Taking a speed up there was actually quite helpful. If I can get anything cool out of this shop, that would be awesome. I, I would love it. Boom. Mm. Well, first of all, let's blow you up so I can get the money I need. But then secondarily, we do have more charges. Mama Mega. Uh, I'm too lazy to backtrack. Ah, okay, well, now I got it. <laughs> See you in two minutes when I'm re-rolling that again. All right, come on. Come on, dude. Let's go! All right, it's a good item. I'll take it. I got Quince, so this will actually be nice. Uh, at least it's a passive I can use, right? That's what we're here for at the end of the day. I'm bringing up films already with, you know, having watched Drive and basically being like, watching a movie about literally myself. Isn't it wild? Like, this is a, this is a genuine question I have. They still make some movies on film, right? Some movies are still shot on film, like IMAX stuff or whatever. I never really knew what IMAX was until like kind of recently, but like it's, it's, it's like a basic, a special kind of film, right? It's like a massive, massive old type of film. How are those movies actually made? Because, dude, are they shot on film? And like, because if they are, if they are shot on film, how are they edited? You feel me? Because I feel like that doesn't really compute for me. If they're shot on film, and like you want to use like modern editing techniques or even like VFX and stuff, you have to digitize it, right? You have to digitize the film, so you can edit it in like After Effects or whatever professional... Well, After Effects is kind of already professional, but like, you know, whatever professional grade editing stuff you want to use for your VFX. I guess maybe movies that, that are shot on film don't rely on VFX as much? Sure, that's plausible, maybe. But, I should grab this by the way so I can have a charge for the potential angel deal here. But then like, are they, like, the alternative would be, they're not shot on film, they're actually just shot digitally on a normal digital camera, well normal, like a cinema grade digital camera obviously, like a, like a red or something like that. And then, after they're done editing, the final, final render of the movie is then somehow exported to film, like it's put back on an IMAX film or something like that, which seems... Strange, but I suppose you can do that? I actually genuinely wonder how that's done. Like, if we're talking about a film, a movie that is on, on IMAX, on film, or something like that, how the hell is, like, what's the process of making that movie? I, I genuinely wonder. Because if you're shooting on film, there's no way you're editing digitally, right? But there's also no way you're, like, editing non-digital. Like, how would you edit a movie like that? I, I don't know, man. How do you encode the audio for a, a movie shot on film? Is it, like, played back? That's actually something I don't know. How do cinemas work when they don't just have a MP4 file they press play on and then project onto a screen? If that shit still runs on, like, an IMAX fucking, f you know, film roll, how the hell does any of that shit work, man? You can tell I never go to cinemas because I don't know how that shit works. <laughs> it just seems kind of crazy to me. The fact that that is still being done. And that's the next thing. I thought we've gone past, like, physical media like that, like, analog film and shit like that. I thought we're at the point now where, on average, a digital camera is better than a physical film, but I guess not, considering that, like, people always say, oh, this is like a super IMAX film. The, the picture is like 70 millimeters across or some shit. I'm like, what the hell? I get you, you get a lot of detail, but what if you just had a 
an 8K uh, MP4 file and a good projector. Doesn't that basically do the same? I don't know, maybe I just don't have an appreciation for cinematic quality or, you know, video quality or something like that, maybe. But I just, I just don't really understand how that works. I guess for some filmmakers, directors or whatever, it's probably just a matter of uh, what medium they want to use, right? Some films, even nowadays, are shot like on old ass film and like are made to look old because it's a stylistic choice, which I understand. Making it as a stylistic choice makes perfect sense. But if we're talking about like a modern blockbuster movie that has like visual effects and stuff like that, I, I don't know. It seems a bit weird that they would shoot that shit on film and then somehow edit it digitally and then put it back on film. Roll me. I have plenty of charges available. And by plenty, I mean about one extra full charge. So you know what, actually I'll just take this because I'm too lazy to backtrack. Sumptorium is pretty good, however I will not use it. Uh, well, okay, no, okay, well, fine, here's what we'll do. I will not be lazy for once. I will not be lazy. Also, I have more charges than I thought I did. <laughs> See you in like eight minutes when I'm done with all these Sumptorium clots, but it's happening because all those shots are getting funneled into my tractor beam as well, which is going to be crazy. <laughs> Up until how recently were they still shooting on film predominantly? I know it's not predominant anymore necessarily, but like up until how recently? Because I feel like even back in like the 80s or something, they probably still shot on film, right? I can't imagine that like they took like, I don't know, the fucking Matrix or some shit and then shot that shit on physical film and then edited it digitally to do all their visual effects work. That seems crazy to me. You tell me they, like, then again, like how did editing work back in the day? Did they actually just like take the film? physically and like cut it and shit i mean yeah but like that's crazy bro I, that's so much work <laughs> that's so much work for well an art form really but still this, this is wild anyway we got an army of clots i'm happy with what i got i do need a bit of hp i'm not doing all that hot on it i think this is fine to take also it saves me time <laughs> i don't have to uh, backtrack anywhere nearly as much going forward which i think is a good idea but look at look at those shots all bundled up into my tractor beam it's a thing of absolute beauty i love it so much and down we go yep that's uh we're gonna be destroying this. oh yeah they're affected by bffs as well aren't they that's great yeah you know what it's chalky milk time it's been a while since i've taken chalky milk i've usually always been anti um tap shooting but i'm feeling i'm feeling precious today I don't mind tap shooting a little bit, and uh, mostly because my wrist hasn't been acting up all that much lately, so I feel like I don't I don't have to struggle with RSI as much today. Maybe. Maybe I will after the run is over, but... Oh, well, that's something for future me to worry about. I would love uh, that 9 volt as well, by the way. I would absolutely love game if you could give me that. Let's send it. Creep, creep. You are so unbelievably toasted. Look at, those, look at the amount of tears in the room. They're bouncing all over the place. They're not disappearing. That was so quick. Finally got my damn angel deal. About damn time and it's all pretty mid i could use the tears up i should get the tears up to be fair i'm not the biggest fan of rosary as a as an item because it makes the bible spawn eventually which is annoying again these i'm not gonna get used to it these clots are going to disappear one day there's the bible i was talking about nope uh nope don't care about that either i'm just gonna reroll as soon as i walk in here i don't even know what it turned into Oh yeah, that's a tear cap breaker. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Well, I suppose we're done here. Unless there was anything in the shop for me to reroll. Wait, no, there was an item I just wanted in there, right? There was just 9 volt in there. I just want that. Although, no, I don't need 9 volt because I'm rocking the capacitor, right? Unless I plan on dropping capacitor in the future, which I'm not for the foreseeable future, I am not going to benefit from 9 volt at all because I'm always going to get a full charge from the batteries that drop. So I should just reroll. Well, now I'm going to have the capacitor forever. <laughs> Because I just smelted it down. And I think, honestly, with the D6, that's worth doing. Some other items that don't have as long of a charge, maybe not. But with a D6, it is perfectly fine doing because you're going to, on average, get more charges out of the capacitor than you would without it. At least, that's how I look at it. Again, I am no statistician. Uh, statistics, as much as I liked math, was never my strong suit. Why is the Bible back again? I guess I never picked it up in the first place. That makes perfect sense. Oh well, at least I got rid of it now. Here's the thing, am I gonna re-roll or am I gonna take the mystery item? I'm gonna re-roll and then I'm gonna take the mystery sack. Hmm, well, turns out the mystery item would've been good because it would've been a conjoined piece. Oh well, we all Gucci. I do want to charge before I go in here. It's unlikely I get another deal, but I would rather have a charge than not have one. And well, the game hurt my prayers. Thank you, old capacitor, for being a goaded trinket. <laughs>
for just being kind of like there for me and helping me out and being a friend. I, I appreciate it a lot. Let's just annihilate these guys real quick. My clot army has a shrunken size, but it is still very much there. I cannot believe I actually got a deal. I did the right thing and I got revelation. Yeah, I'll take it. Problem is it's never gonna really charge up because I'm obviously tap firing with chalky milk, but the flight is nice. The real question is now, it's only Gehenna 1. Do I take this key piece and just ensure that I have them, or do I go for broke and reroll it? I am likely to get another angel deal. Fuck. Damn it, and it didn't even stay open either. Let's see what this shop holds for me. Something I don't necessarily want. Something I still... Well, actually... Hold on, this is good for once. I don't hate having 9 volt for once. Why? Because I'm pretty sure it's gonna work with capacitor. And if not, then oh well, I wasn't getting charges anyway. Like, this is actually fine, I think. For once, I am actually happy with having 9 volt. Uh, 9 volt, 4.5 volt. <laughs> also, just because it's like on my mind, because I just watched a movie mere hours ago, right? Why are so many. Like, like surely people saying he's literally me to drive uh, 2011 featuring. Uh, starring Ryan Gosling. Like, saying, like, he's literally me. It's ironic, right? Obviously. But are, do you, are there people that genuinely believe that, like, oh, he's literally me? Because I don't think the type of person that tends to say that can actually say that with confidence. Because he falls in love with and kisses a woman in that movie. I'm not trying to be dismissive or anything. I just was under the impression that the average- at least that's where the meme originated from. The average person that's like, oh, Ryan Gosling's literally me. You know. Was like- uh, the type of person that has not yet interacted favorably with a woman, let's say it like that. Uh, so the fact that they're the ones saying that is kind of weird to me, because he not just falls in love with and kisses a woman in that movie, uh, it's a woman that has a kid from another man! Is that a controversial take? Should I just stay in my lane? Maybe. I just- that was just an intrusive thought that went through my head, basically, and I was like, well, I could stop myself. I very much could. But where's the fun in that? <laughs> Where's the fun at? All I'm saying is people that say Ryan Gosling is literally them don't understand. I don't think they've actually watched Drive is what I'm saying, okay? I don't think these motherfuckers have actually watched Drive. I think they just seen like the, the same scenes that are turned into memes all the time. Where he's like, you know, a hyper, hyper dude with a touch of the tism that doesn't really like talk to people. He just stares at them whenever there's any form of social interaction and they're like, that's literally me. Like, I get it, you feel represented or whatever, but come on. There's more to the movie than that. He kills people. <laughs> Would you kill people? No, it's a fun movie, though. My, my review of, uh, of Drive 2011, starring Ryan Gosling, uh, especially after losing my shit every time there was, like, a meme scene on the screen. Uh, it's like a 7 out of 10. I don't want IBS. Just give me this. Well, good thing there's so many charges lying around, so I can just... Go to town. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, it's a conjoint piece, I gotta take it. Ah, uh, oh boy, a restock machine. Well, don't mind if I do. Oh, we're getting, like, the doo-doo shop items, huh? I don't even want car battery. The plopia is just kind of worth it because it's an extra roll, kind of. It's an extra item to roll. Oh, hell yeah, give me sharp plug as well. I don't really have money anymore, but... Mm, okay, roll me. Ooh, well, that's conjoint. That's gonna help a lot. 48-hour energy. Holy crap. <laughs> Has it ever happened that you've had a run? Where you have too many charges on the D6. Like, I'm literally getting so many charges, like, out the ass with the D6 right now. I have nothing to use them on. I don't know what I'm gonna use all these charges for, man. I find decent items that I'm just happy with before I use up all my charges. And, I mean, the build is no slouch, as you can tell. Well, there's my angel deal, and it's a guaranteed one for the next floor. <laughs> well, in that case, I might as well reroll another key piece, right? Mm-hmm. Let me just dispose of this guy real quick, re-roll it, eh, re-roll that again. Yes, that is so much better, I am very happy, okay. Good thing I went for another dip on that. Hey, if I'm walking backwards and shooting, the tears are basically <laughs> locked in place because of the way tractor beam works. That's really funny. Roll some more, well, there's restock, that's funny. You're a little late, aren't you? <laughs> Time to do a whole lot more of this whole <laughs> shtick of going back and forth over and over again. Boom, ah, fuck it. I'll take Red Stew, mostly because it saves me the time having <laughs> to backtrack more. <sighs> Look, I my speed is still terrible. I, I've already taken a speed up, but I've gotten shafted by speed downgrades as well. I know I could have used Sharp Luck, by the way, but yeah, I'd rather save my HP right now. Holy shit, she's dead. Like, I've already gotten two batteries in four rooms. It's, it's kind of a bit wild. Oh, there's the planetarium. I was hoping to see one of you. And it's Terra. That's a good item that I can just take and live with. Alright, let's see what we got in here, right? Okay, a tears up is huge. 
Let's just grab that key piece real quick while I remember and then go crazy with opening these up. Yes, I probably shouldn't have taken the tears up, but I kind of wanted it. I'm hoping that you can pay out with another item regardless. And if not, that's also fine. You're giving me so much. Mom's key with these chests is a fucking joke. It's so funny. Okay, I don't want divine intervention. I do want holy light. Okay, well, that solves my issue with having to do a lot of backtracking here. And honestly, I'm kind of just done with the floor. I got everything I wanted. All right, I'm out of here. Yep, bye-bye. <laughs> Is that simple? Is that straightforward? I got everything I wanted. A Yera rune. Well, now you're speaking the my language. You, you, you hear me? I don't really want to min-max this floor. I was, I was like, just last time I was saying maybe I'm going to min-max. I changed my mind. I want to get to the dark room as soon as possible. Mostly because there's no point in min-maxing this floor as much. Fine, fine, fine. I'll check what's in here. Cool. Dry baby. Well, I already have conjoined, so... Ah. All right, here it begins. <coughs> here we go. Fuck. Now I gotta. I have no choice. I, I was gonna say there's no point in doing all this, but the game has left me no options. I've gotta, gotta do all the backtracking and shit now. Give me something cool, please. I have greed. We meet again, old friend. Unfortunately, for you... Um, there happens to be a battery on this floor, <laughs> and, well, I don't know if you're familiar with the customs, but if you're an item pedestal in the secret room, and I, as the player, have access to re-rolling, you better be, like, one of three items in the secret room, or you are getting sent to hell. <laughs> There's, there is no other options, there is no argument to be had. This is the fourth item. This one I am happy to see. But it requires a different prerequisite, and currently that prerequisite has not been met, which is a shame. That being said, there's a chance I can get another charge if this room wants to pay out with one. Yes, I could sharp plug. Yes, I probably should. <laughs> I'm gonna get a charge from this boss fight probably, and then, yeah, okay. Felt like min-maxing today. I chose, I chose the min-maxing type of violence. Yeah, fuck it, let's sharp plug. Screw it. Well, hold on. I might as well check what's down here, right? Ah, uh, well, never mind. <laughs> Make another item? No? Okay. Well, that's worth it, though. Ah, fuck it, that's worth it. I should collect at least so some of these red hearts, though. There you go. The rest of the empty hearts, don't, wor don't worry about those. They're gonna get traded away on the next floor anyway. I'm not worried about them at all. They're they're getting sent to hell. Full. Full. Well, I, I mean... If you insist... If you insist... Fine, that's- that's okay. I need to speed up anyway. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta go for broke, buddy. Sometimes you just gotta go for broke a little bit. Now I can finally leave this... ...mortal coil behind. <laughs> it took way too long. <laughs> way too much time. And we get Curse of the Lost for this floor as well. What a... ...fucking shame. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, we're getting some good stuff here though. Well, I'm definitely taking you, I'm definitely taking you. I'm definitely taking you. And, um... Well, holy shit, I forgot I had Chalky Milk as well with this. Oh my goodness. Uh, the rest I'll probably re-roll. The messed up thing is going to be figuring out where the fuck the batteries are on this floor, because if I leave any of them behind, I will never find them again. Four and a half volt is going to come in real handy here. Oh, hell yeah, purity, let's go. Range, come on. Piercing, let's go. <laughs> Nuka Mycosis is great, though. It also makes my beam like a blue-purple, blurple kind, kind of color. I don't want to backtrack all the way, but I got, uh... Anything cool? No, no, not at all, actually. Completely just saddening. How's that work? I gotta, I gotta know. I gotta know, how's this work? Oh god. So they are affected by my tractor beam, and more importantly, they seem to be un- They, they seem to just get rid of my brimstone. That's a bummer, but okay. This should be affected by homing, which is pretty funny. Um, at least they're unaffected by knockback. That's nice, I guess. Like, they don't knock each other around. That's nice, I suppose. I never remember if Brimstone and Dr. Fetus synergize. I'm- I always get it wrong, I guess. I- I never quite get it right. I, the Brimstone was more fun, man. I gotta admit, the Brimstone was a little bit more fun. Like, this still does insane damage, but... Oh, uh, well, I'm getting bombs now. Does this actually do anything? Of course not. Whatever, I'll just take this because I don't want to backtrack. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't like Dr. Fetus here. I, I prefer to have the Brimstone. It's gonna be so much more fun. I was expecting it to have some sort of synergy, but I guess it's Brimstone bombs you need, not Brimstone. I, uh, it was an experiment to pick up the Dr. Fetus. An experiment not worth it. Maybe I can finally burn into my head that Dr. Fetus does not synergize with Brimstone. At least not 
vanilla. <laughs> There's probably mods for that, but I don't have any right now. I should just use uh, half a heart here to re-roll this again. Oh my lord. Roll that. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Oh <laughs> my lord. What is happening on this run? What is happening right now? Things are dying way too fast. Well. I need a minute. Does, I think this one works with, doc, with, with Brimstone, but I don't even want it. I don't want it. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, it's a spun piece, I guess. Let's just quickly build my full charge here, basically. I'm surprised it wasn't the full charge, but it was definitely up there. And, um, yeah. <laughs> I think I've done most of the floor, haven't I? Ah, fuck it. <laughs> I don't want to backtrack this much, man. I'm done. I'm done, dude. Curse of the Lost got me fucked up. I don't even think there is any more items. I think I'm just done. I think I've found everything there is to find. There's like one item here to reroll. I'll just take it. And, uh... Yeah, I think that's it, man. I think I think we're done here. Anyway, time to one-shot Mega Satan. Like, actually just literally kill him in one blast, probably. It certainly got the first phase down instantaneously. Almost killed all the horsemen as well with that same blast or like whatever lingered behind it. Matter of fact, I didn't even get to charge my next shot fully before everything died. Like, the lingering tears here are enough to, yeah, take down that phase. These angels are gonna die, and then again, these lingering shots probably just kill him. Okay, they don't quite, but... Almost. Now imagine how boring this would have been with Dr. Fetus. Now I could have had Nancy bombs with Dr. Fetus to be fair, but just imagine how much more boring this would have been instead of having this cool shit going on, which is like just the most satisfying run you've seen in your entire life. Fat brimstone, fucking tears bouncing all over the place, godhead, crazy shit. Yeah, that's way cooler. Anyway, the run is over. <laughs> would you look at that? Some min maxing today. It was fun. Anyway, that's that. I hope you've enjoyed yourself as much as I have, and I hope that I can see you again tomorrow. Until then, have a good one, and make sure to watch Drive 2011, starring Ryan Gosling.